everyone, it's Mark, and today we're taking a look at a sovereign citizen who has a firearm and uses the right to travel script during a traffic stop. And as you could guess, it doesn't end well for her. Let's roll the video! Hi there. Yep. Hey, I'm Officer Kennedy, Myrtle Creek Police Area, in our conversation being recorded today. Okay? Yes, it is! The reason for the stop today is that I noticed your tags are expired. Do you have your license on now? Right from the start, she brings out the Sovereign Citizen script. If Sovereign Citizens really knew what they were talking about, they wouldn't need to read it off a script. Is that a firearm under your jacket? Don't reach for it, just answer it. I don't know, I'm asking if it's a firearm, so if you reach yes, for it, we sir, have issues. It is. Okay, don't ever reach for it, okay. okay. We do me a favor? I'd like to remove that from you. I would rather remove it myself okay, than you're not going to do that. You're not going to put a firearm in there. Okay, I'm, so just hear me I out. Stop not... talking. Just let me explain, okay? It's for my safety. I don't mean any harm Excuse to you. Excuse me, but uh, it's about my safety. Okay, I'm not going to hurt you, nor am I putting off an intimidating Well, I'm factor. not just going listen. to hurt you. This, this is what I would like to do, okay? All I would like you to do is cross your fingers like this, put your hand on your head, and I'd like to just grab and take it out. I'm not going to seize no, it or I anything No, I do not like want my, my weapon outside okay. of my vehicle. Where's your ID? I do not want my weapon outside of the vehicle. Where is your ID? I am ID? willing to put my weapon on the dash so that you can clearly see it. Do not touch it. that gun. Fine. Okay. Then it'll I'll tell you what. Attack. Put the paperwork on the dash for me. Put the paperwork on the dash. Why? Because I'm telling you to. And it's a lawful order. Put the paperwork on the dash now and put your hands on the steering wheel and don't move them. Okay? You're being confrontational. You have a firearm. We're not going to play that game. I'm going to get your name, date of birth, and I'm going to continue my traffic stop. Do you understand that? I think I'll just plead the fifth. That's fine. I recommend that. Well, if you're not going to plead the fifth, you're going to need to present me with an ID. Can you point to where your ID is? No, sir. You told me to put my hands I did, on the steering wheel. I did, but you wheel. told me you were going to plead the fifth, which means you're not going to talk anymore. Okay, if you're not going to talk, you can't tell me your name and your date of birth. Does that make sense? So, will you tell me your name and date of birth? Not until I uh, present this paperwork. Present this paperwork, also known as ramble off nonsense that she read online and thinks is true. Also, the last thing these sovereign citizens should have is a firearm. They're extremely dangerous criminals who have been known to kill officers in the past. Okay, 32 and 6. Can I get another unit? I'm going to get my chief down here for you. Okay. Keep your hands right where they're at. I will keep them there as long as I can. Okay. Perfect. They need to remain there and your hand needs to stay away from them. And I already told you, I will keep them there as long as I can. This is not exactly a comfortable okay. position. If holding the steering wheel is an uncomfortable position for you, why are you driving? Oh, I'm sorry. I mean traveling on the roadways anyway. Not yet. Female's verbally uncooperative. I am not uncooperative. I am simply it. answering you without my. Not at this time. See, you guys always do that. You guys always make something up that isn't there. What did I make up today, ma'am? You're saying I'm being confrontational. I'm not being confrontational. Okay, maybe let me use I a am... different word. Argumentative. Well, maybe argumentative, but. I'd say so are you, because you're not getting everything you want exactly when you want it. Yeah, because i got to survive every contact, and I I'm, I'm going to get what I want when there's a firearm involved. You know what? It's going to happen. I'm sorry, but it's the police that have proved themselves to be unreliable. Oh, yeah? Have you ever met me before? Yes, I you have. You've met me. Where did you meet me? Matter of fact, really doesn't matter. Okay, so you haven't met me, so therefore you have no idea whether I'm reliable or not. All I know... Is you're wearing a monkey suit. A monkey suit? I believe it's a police uniform and a badge. But that's fine. I get what you're trying to do. You're, you're mad at the badge, not at me. I'm just trying to go home every day. I don't day. trust the badge. Okay, you don't have to trust me, but I also, I not that I don't trust you, I can't trust you because I don't know you. Okay, I stop hundreds, okay. and, I stop hundreds and possibly thousands of people every year, and I have to survive each of those contacts for a duration that. of 25 years. Okay? I understand that. I know how to do that. And I know how I want people to react if they do have a firearm. And so that's what I go off of. 
Okay. And I was willing to compromise with you, but you're not willing to compromise. You want what, it your What is way. the compromise? I am willing to put it on the dash or even to allow okay. you to put it on the dash. I am I not like to do willing to allow you to remove it from my vehicle. Okay. I can work with you on that a little bit. If I'm going to put it on your dash, I'm going to unload it first. That's fine. Okay. Will you put your hands on your head with your fingers crossed so I can remove it from you? <sighs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Any other firearms with you? No. Okay. Can I put my hands down now? Yes, ma'am. If you could keep them at least visible, that would be wonderful. <laughs> Now, can I begin going over this paperwork with me let, that you're let, going let, to thoroughly disagree with me on anyway? I, I'm not saying I'm going to disagree with you. It may be legitimate, okay? It is legitimate. Okay. I've done well, that's my fine. My Once I get this done, we'll move on with the rest of the stop. It would have been a lot easier just to push the deal. Huh? You, don't, you don't get to decide how things go. Okay. I'm, I'm all about res just... I'm all about respecting you and trying to work with you. I was but trying to be helpful. You were not. I was yes, I was asking yes, you I... to do something. And I was you were talking refusing to. I was talking about with getting the bullets out again. I was just trying. Well, it would have been easier and faster to get the bullets out if you'd have pushed the release. Okay. That's well, all I was well, trying to say. Before that, I was giving you a lawful order. And you were refusing to obey that. For personal feelings, I understand that. You did not prefer it that way. But there's times during a traffic stop or an interaction with my police, gun is you have to set your dash. personal opinion or feelings aside you to obey a lawful to order. You put my weapon on my dash. Afterwards. No. Correct. You After I told you. To put my okay, weapon on We're going to stop this. I'm going to wait dash. for the chief and we'll go from there. I'm going to put it on the dash now. You need to not reach for it. And I'm going to put it on that side. Will you roll that window down? Turn Just turn it, turn it to the on, yeah, accelerator on, that's fine. What the hell happened to that car? I wouldn't trust being on the road with this traveler, that's for sure. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna hold it here until the chief's here. Okay, where's your identification at? Fine with me. I'm, I'm um, trying to give you every honestly, opportunity to... Quite honestly, to just... I don't feel like repeating myself. And if I go through all this with you, then I have to go over it yet again with the chief. Okay. I don't feel like repeating myself. Okay. So, I am not refusing to identify. I am simply requesting that you take into account that there's more to it than maybe even what you know. I know, you're an officer and you think you know all the laws. No, Sorry, but nobody know knows all the laws. I would never claim to. <laughs> I would certainly hope not. <laughs> I feel bad for anybody that, that has to. So, Chief, will you roll that window down for the Chief so he can hear everything that's being said? So, I have the firearm now. It's clear <laughs> from her. Um, so... Essentially, pro, I know she had the firearm on her hip, not a big deal. Um, I asked her if it was a firearm that she point at it or tell me instead of reaching it. She reached for it. Um, anyway, I asked her to put her hands on her head so I could remove it from her and take it back to my vehicle to secure it during the rest of the stop because she's mildly argumentative. She refused to do that. We ended up coming to a compromise. She let me take it off her and unload it. Um, so it's been a bit of a confrontation. I've asked her for a license multiple times. She said she wouldn't give it until you got here, so that's where we're at. So can I have your license? I want to repeat myself. Okay, can I have your license, please? Just real quick, man. Just sitting on my name's Chief Bruce. I got my camera going too, so it's recording. Okay. Okay. I've got my camera recording as well. Okay. Now, as I told you before, before I relinquish my information, I am going to go over this paperwork. Okay, that's fine. Okay. And let the sovereign citizen word salad begin. <coughs> Which of course is not in order. <coughs> I promise this was in order when I put it.
Oh, come on. If you're going to recite the Sovereign Citizen script, at least have the script in order. So, as you're asking me for my driver's license, I do want you to know the threat of the citizen to travel upon the public highways and to transport his property thereon by horse-drawn carriage, yeah. wagon, or yeah. automobile is not a mere privilege which be. may be permitted or prohibited at will, but a common right which he has under his right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Yeah, under this good. constitutional this guarantee, one may, therefore, under normal conditions, travel at his inclination <laughs> along the public highways or in public places. And while conducting himself in an orderly and decent manner, neither interfering with nor disturbing another's rights, he will be protected, not only in his person, but in his safe conduct. <clears throat> and I can give you where to find that if you would like. And we don't need to. The U.S. Supreme Court has already squashed that. So no, the U.S. Supreme Court has yeah, not. Yes, they have. And you do have a right to travel. You have a right to travel by your feet or your horse, but you have to have a driver's license. No, you gonna... do not. Okay, we can argue this later. So you need to provide the, the officer with your driver's license or you will be arrested for public care and present. <sighs> for what crime? Held a gear and present a driver's license. That's a, a Class C misdemeanor in the state of Oregon. Hmm. Without a crime, it is not a failure. But you have to let go of it. You have to Why do, it to do you have Why a, do I have to let go of it? I presented it. You can see it. Do you, do you have a concealed handgun license with you? No. Okay. Do you have your insurance for the vehicle? Not required. Okay. Good. Uh, whether... Whether you feel it's required or not, do you have insurance information? Yes or no? No. Okay. Do you have registration information? Whether it's re required in your opinion or not, do you have... I don't know if it's here in the car or not. Okay, so you just don't know. Okay, that's fine. I'll be back. My question here is if she really believes she has the right to travel by driving without a license on a public roadway, why does she have a driver's license in the first place? I think she's either new at this sovereign citizen stuff or she knows she'll be arrested for driving without a license. A few minutes later. Gina, what's the deal, okay? You just step out of the vehicle because you're being placed under arrest for carrying a concealed firearm. You're placing me under arrest for a concealed firearm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma can I ask what led you to that decision? Okay, well, you're you're carrying a concealed firearm, and that's a crime in Oregon. Ma'am, do you recall I asked you if that was a gun underneath your jacket? And I said yes. Okay, so by me not being able to tell whether it was a gun or not, it was not in open plain view, right? Okay, so it would have been concealed if I can't tell that it's a gun. You could obviously see the butt of it. If, if you got your sweatshirt covering that gun, it, it's concealed. An open carry is open carry. Nothing obstructing the firearm or, or the so, holster that it's in. So had it been on the dash or like flat on the passenger seat? Or had it been on your side without a sweatshirt covering it? That's not concealed. But you have it under clothing, so that's concealed. So now you guys want to know. And additionally, it's also a crime to present me with a driver's license knowing that it's suspended. I see you were convicted of driving while suspended in December, late December of 2021, which was only a few months ago. Additionally, you haven't been reinstated at all since then. So there's a pretty good inclination that you knew you were suspended and knew that license was not valid. That's also a crime in the state of Oregon. Okay. You're making assumptions. No, that's... You're making assumptions. Oh, as far as your knowledge you're, you're of that? assuming whether I knew or did not know. Right, I never said I knew for a fact. Okay. I, I, I'm not in your mind. I can't know that. But there's pretty good evidence to show that you likely knew. Uh, but additionally from that, for the concealed firearm, yes, you are under arrest. So we just need you to step out. We don't want it to be incident or anything. Um, just ask you to step out and face the panel up there for us, please. So maybe like I explained to you, this, this isn't the place to argue it. That just makes things worse. That's why there's court. Yeah, you guys looked for the most petty thing that you could to arrest me for. Okay, well, we didn't And we didn't I'm look willing to bet that in the process, you guys have got a whole lot of other things going on. So before we jump to that, I'd like to know what I was pulled over for. I, I told you, you were stopped for expired tax. Okay, additionally, the registered owner of the vehicle is suspended. It appeared to look similar to you based off the picture I pulled up before I stopped you. 
but in and of itself, I can stop you if the registered owner of the vehicle is expensive, or ex suspended and the description would match. Additionally, you have a light housing on the back here that's broken. I didn't notify you that that's what why I stopped you because I was primarily just stopping you for the tags. But I mean, we can point at things, but I don't want to nitpick with you. I don't want to argue with you. Okay, this is kind of what we're going to do. Um, you're obviously very familiar with the courts. You referenced the Supreme Court earlier in the stop. Okay, so you know that that's the place to argue this stuff. So at this point, that's why you're under arrest. Okay, so we're going to ask that you step out. We don't want an argument with you. We don't want any altercation. So your car, so you were convicted of driving while suspended recently. So you have no insurance on the vehicle. You guys have so, no legal right to tell it. Okay, again, you can argue that in court. But I'm talking to you now. Okay, this isn't the place for these arguments, okay, ma'am? So I'm going to ask you to go ahead and step out of the vehicle. And if you refuse to... I will to, step okay. out of the vehicle. Okay. However, the U.S. Supreme Court has already ruled that a vehicle is a household effect. Okay. Therefore, you have no right to tow it. Okay. Again, you can argue that in court. You can argue that. You can file lawsuits. You can do what you like. So, okay. in other words, what you're saying is that you don't That's care. Fine. Get him on the camera. That you are stomping all over my okay. what, what, what I what I care about is um. Th this is my job. Okay. I am educated, I'm informed, and I get the training on laws and court rulings. But that does okay. not mean that you know all the laws. Okay. And that does not mean that you are kept up to date right. on the U.S. Supreme Court's rulings. Right. So, I'm, I'm pretty kept up to date. And again, if, I, I, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm wrong, I'll eat crow later. Okay? But this isn't Eating the place crow for... crow later is not going to help me. Okay, well, it, it might. So, go ahead, ma'am. Go ahead and step out of the In vehicle. The meantime, you are under arrest. You guys are taking something that you have no legal right to take. Again, not the place for the argument. I, I have not even said that I'm going to tow it yet, but we need you to step out now so we can get you in custody safely, and then we'll go from there. So please face that way. Please face that way and put your hands behind your back. Ow! Okay. Would you please Do you need two general? sets of cuffs? I have a right shoulder injury. Okay. Sovereign citizens and frauditors always complain about having injuries. You would think with all the injuries they allegedly have, they would be encouraged to stop breaking the law so they don't find themselves in these situations. So Chief, will you hold this arm? We'll put two cents cup on you. And please do our very best. I'm only, I'm only limited by these two cups. It would be a little better if you were uh, able to hold a little more still. Well, I'm sorry that I'm not standing still enough for you. I'm a little bit scared. Okay. Let me check the tightness on this one. Quick, ma'am, you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can't be used against the court of law. You have the right to stay present or be questioned. If you have to hire a lawyer, or will be appointed to represent you under expense. Do you understand those rights, ma'am? I'm going to double lock these just so they don't tighten up anymore. Sure. Okay, man. I'll have you walk back this way with me. It's the front of my car here. Okay, I know you say you're pleading the fifth, but do you have someone who is a licensed valid driver who can come take control of your vehicle within a reasonable amount of time, which would be within the next 20 minutes or so? Bryson. Bryson. His neighbor. Okay. Are you still at the mechanical address? It's on your license? I'm only asked because I'm trying to think about how long it's going to take somebody to get here. Yes, I'm living in Melbourne. Would you like to call Bryson to see if he can come get your vehicle? I would appreciate it. Okay. Do you have a cell phone it's that I can bring out here? And It's uh, in the, uh, uh, on the windshield. Okay. Can I grab that to bring that out here yes, for you? Yes, you may. All right. And by the way, I do not consent to any searches or seizures. I figured. 
That's totally fine. So you obviously can't dial a phone with your hands behind your back. So would you like me to... <clears throat> okay, right you're going to have to scroll it to the... Yeah, yeah, scroll that. And then go to Messenger. Second one down on the left. You may have to lift it up for it too. I think this is where I'm going to end the video. The rest of the video was just the officers calling someone to get the vehicle. If you would like to see the full video, a link is in the description. These officers were very professional and patient with her. I love that they kept telling her to save her arguments for court. The driver was rude from the start of this stop and concealed her firearm, which could have had potentially deadly consequences if the stop went in a total different direction. As far as the Sovereign Citizen script goes, hopefully she realized after this encounter that the Sovereign Citizen stuff is false and doesn't work. As always, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to all of my channel members for your support. I really appreciate all of your support and all of you are awesome. And that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching and be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.